Bell Manor Elementary School in Hearst Euless Bedford ISD is home of the Bobcats, including one Bobcat, Baxter. <laughs> He's really no Bobcat at all. When he first came to school, we got, we got our shirts. In fact, he's an English cream golden retriever whose sole job is to comfort everyone he meets. So when we were considering the grant for Baxter, uh, we were taking a look at all of the core values of our district as well as the goals. One of those being the goal of the whole child, um, which includes not only academic, but their social emotional well-being. So we decided um, between our speech pathologist, our counselor, uh, and myself, we decided that it would be a good idea to include a campus comfort dog, um, which would be the first for our district. So it's been a lifelong dream of mine, professionally and personally, to have um, a comfort dog come be a part of my therapy sessions. I talked to Carrie and I said, hey, I really want to do this. Do you think it's possible? So we just started researching it. So obviously with a highly trained dog comes a very high price. Uh, and with those um, high prices, it was going to be where was the funds going to come from. And they gave us the price tag of $10,000. That was a, a flat amount, um, but that's a big amount for a public school. We reached out to the Education Foundation to give us the $5,000 that we could apply for. They granted that, uh, and then we moved forward with finding additional um, community supports. I called our contacts over at Texas Health Resource. They brought us a, a nice donation of $2,700. Additionally, we had some private donors who saw the vision of what we were trying to implement and gave us the rest of the donations for the full 10,000. And then we've been very lucky in our district to have a program through our public relations department where we could partner with campus champions. And so a local veterinarian um, has become a campus champion for Baxter and takes care of our veterans veterinary needs. Baxter is definitely our superstar. Uh, every student knows and loves Baxter. Our teachers also know and love Baxter. We have several teachers that are frequent flyers over at Baxter's office. We have to kind of address each student and how they experience and interact with Baxter, but all of them can to some degree and it's just a fun, um, different, exciting thing to do. He makes me feel better when I'm upset and it makes me feel very happy. And I like reading to him a lot. Baxter makes me feel safe because whenever something bad happens, he'll protect me and the other people in the school. So the vision for Bell Manor's culture is to really be a place of safety, a place of comfort for both students, staff, and families. On top of the fact that he is trained to be a source of comfort, um, a source of a safe place, someone or something to provide um, reassurance and calmness. And so that has contributed positively to the culture that we have. Being an educator in 2023 is, is difficult. It comes with its own set of challenges that we've never had to navigate before. Um, but being able to walk by the office where Baxter hangs out a lot and peek in to see if he's there um, adds a smile to a day or um, we've, I've even had where staff members have sought him out because they needed that comfort themselves to be able just to say, I need some Baxter pets or I need some puppy love. Um, and to know that he's right around the corner or to be able to peek into an office and see him um, has made a positive impact on our students and our staff. <laughs>